Dajia hao, wo shi Martin, and this is a phrase a day English. Once again, brought to you by the National Taichung University of Science and Technology Language Center. Today's lesson is about the phrase to give or get short shrift. To give someone short shrift means to give them too little attention or too little consideration. Uh, it means you don't put enough thought or energy into some problem or someone's request. Uh, and the phrase short shrift, you can translate it into Chinese as fu yin le shi. I hope I said that right. Anyway, the phrase short shrift comes from one of William Shakespeare's plays, specifically Richard the Third. Oh, that's who that is. It's Richard the Third. Hey, Richard. Hey, have you seen Clarence anywhere? No? Okay, all right. Anyway, uh, Shakespeare has had a pretty remarkable influence on the English language. So you will probably see me talk about Shakespeare a lot during this series. Okay, how to use the phrase short shrift in English. I can give you two example sentences that will help you understand. Example sentence number one. Mm -hmm. The boss gave my resume short shrift and he didn't offer me the job. Number two. My loan application got short shrift so I didn't get the loan. Okay, so in the first example, uh, I have the word gave. The boss gave my resume short shrift. And in the second example, I made it into a passive sentence saying, I got short shrift from the bank for my loan application. So the words short shrift are almost always used with the verbs get or give depending on who is in charge of the consideration and who is the object of the sentence and who is the subject. If you are the one making the request, then you get short shrift. If you are the one uh, responding to the request, if you are the one considering the request, then you give short shrift. I hope that's clear. Um, I hope you have never gotten short shrift in your life. If you do, though, you should stand up for yourself. And if you don't understand the words stand up, I am going to talk about that phrase next week. Thank you for watching. I will see you all again next time. Goodbye.